What is it exactly that Gigamon does? Gigamon provides visibility solutions that enable better security. So our solutions basically span everything from physical networks to virtual networks to public cloud environments, private cloud, hybrid cloud environments, and so forth. So the premise that we, we basically focus on, <clears throat> excuse me, is that with access and visibility to the data, you can then manage, secure, and understand it as best as possible throughout the infrastructure. So we fundamentally deliver data in whatever formats needed to the appropriate tools at the appropriate time at the appropriate speed. Right, right. Now, for, for those who, who are maybe parsing through what that means, uh, you know, the most simple way to think of Gigamon is a tap. But that doesn't even come close to doing justice what Gigamon does. I mean, when you're talking about visibility, you're talking about true visibility. This isn't just an appliance that you drop into your network and it starts giving you a copy of all the packets that are running through your network. You have a couple of very interesting bits of technology that give you visibility into parts of networking that many of us didn't think was possible. Can you talk at all about that or am I getting into that gray area? No, 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 it, certainly. Um, the thing is we provide the ability to really slice and dice and access the, the network data to the nth degree in a very granular process. So it's not like looking at everything coming down a pipe and just saying, okay, we'll forward it here or there like a switch or a router. We can actually really dig into and based on policies take certain chunks of data based upon packet information or session information and then deliver that to the appropriate tools. They could be customer experience tools. They could be monitoring and analytics tools. They could be firewalls and intrusion prevention tools for more analytics and processing. So we can take it once again at a packet level or a session level and feed that information to those tools. And we can feed a part of the packet. We can feed just a chunk of the session. We can actually mass packets. So if there's some type of compliance regulation that's involved, uh, the IT team won't necessarily see all of that information going across the wire. So we have quite a lot of control when it comes down to identifying and managing and delivering that traffic to the tools across your network environment. And we're quite agnostic. I mean, there's no proprietary protocols that we offer. We work with the majority of vendors out there in the marketplace, from firewall vendors to IPS vendors to security analytics solutions and so forth. We basically make them more effective and enable them to do their jobs better. Right. And, and let's let's talk about one piece in particular, because this, this is one of the, the, the areas in which I think Gigamon is, is absolutely an industry leader. Anyone can tap. Anyone can mirror report, anyone can record the data stream, but one of the things that Gigamon got into very early is mm -hmm. this idea of being able to give you visibility into things like SSL streams, into encrypted streams. You can do both in-band and out-of-band, in-line decryption of SSL communications in real time, yep. which is important if you're at a an enterprise in a network that needs to look for malware, that needs to look for malicious connections inside mm -hmm. of encrypted streams. How does that work? Well, it's it's not a uh, new approach by any means. So just to elaborate on your point, Father, we were talking about uh, out-of-band decryption we've been doing for the past several years. Mm -hmm. So that's basically taking information and feeding it to a passive device, so decrypted information. So we're sending it to a SIM or to, say, a network analytics or forensics type of tool. What we've introduced more recently is the ability to do that inline. So we can actually be in the data path and feed information to other inline tools that can then block it or process it appropriately, like a firewall or an IPS solution. Uh, and in fact, though, I, this is a, it can be a negative term, but we're using it in obviously a trusted manner, is man in the middle. And we have a diagram on there that you may want to share with the audience. But specifically, we can intercept the SSL communication, which initiates from the client, and then through our capabilities, we can then feed that decrypted information to out-of-band tools. As I mentioned before, we've been doing that for quite some time. That could be a uh, network analytics tool, for example, network forensics tool. And we can also simultaneously feed it to multiple inline tools like firewalls, for example, or proxies or whatever it may be. And then send that back to the initial server that was targeted uh, in an encrypted form. So we decrypt and then we re-encrypt. In a sense, we're acting as a man in the middle here because we have to uh, obtain and import the specific certs and keys that are used in that communications process 
but we're a sanctioned or trusted man in the middle in order to do that full inspection.